I enlisted because of the um, lottery system. And I had a low number, so I was going anyway. I took my um, basic training in Fort Lewis, Washington. Uh, biggest memory I remember that was uh, taking the test of the gas mask. Because you went into the gas chamber with your gas mask on, then you had to take it off. And when you came out, it was raining and it got in your eyes and it burned. I was uh, artillery. I was put into the supply section. That was not my MOS whatsoever. My MOS was for the 105 howitzers, but they needed somebody to do supply. So they said, you know, can you drive a truck? Yeah, I can drive a truck. So, I go, okay, here I am. You know, we were not in the infantry, we were support. Our pay wasn't that great. And I wanted to, when I got my pay, I was gonna buy this Pentax camera. It's 126 bucks. Well, I didn't want to spend the money right away, and then finally I did want to, and I went up there, and the mess, or the first sergeant had bought that camera, and they didn't have another one. So I bought the second one, which was called a Yashica. So we were both using our cameras, and pretty soon he just decided that, hey, I'll sell you that camera. So I bought it. Well, I'm, uh, I took, as obviously you can see, I took a lot of pictures. So when I came home, we were married, and, and the church wanted me to show a slideshow. So I did. And that started a business for me. I remember getting a haircut. This Vietnamese guy would cut our hair. I can't remember, the, it was probably a dollar or three dollars. And when he was done, he would take his hands and he'd chop on the back of our neck. And then he'd grab a hold of us and go. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, I called maybe one time. It's called a Mars call. So when you would say something, you'd have to say over. And then they would switch it. And then if she would say something, when she was done, she had to say over. So they could switch it so we could talk back and forth. And we were allowed just a few minutes, probably five or ten minutes at the very most. <clears throat> and it's kind of a waiting line to use the phone. And they'd have these hamburgers wrapped up in tin foil, aluminum foil, whatever. I told my wife last night we were at the ball game in Verdigree, Nybrar Verdigree. I said, this tastes like a hamburger that I had in Vietnam. For me, it really wasn't ever, I was never scared to death. I mean, it never was. I, I never felt like I was really in danger. Um, but were you? There was times, yeah. yeah. But, you know, it was just every day. I mean, you never knew. You stayed there and just hope for the best. Hope you'd get to go home. Do you think about it every day still, or do you, is it far removed from your life now? Is it hard to think about now? It's pretty much removed. It was uh, good for me to, because I'd have never left home. I was not going to go to college. I'd have been on the farm forever.